Hey, this is Brett with Summit Auto in Fond du Lac, Wisconsin, your new and used Ram and light duty truck headquarters. And today I am super excited to show you this brand new 2021 Ram 1500 Crew Cab Short Box TRX. This is the uh, very first TRX that we've gotten on our lot. This one has a 6.2 liter supercharged V8 Hemi motor. Pumps out 702 horsepower, 650 foot-pounds of torque, and uh, it's going to get you 14 miles per gallon on the highway, 10 miles per gallon in the city for an average of 12. And this one is in granite crystal over black clear coat. We shoot all of our videos in 1080p, 60 frames per second, so if you have HD capabilities on your computer, tablet, or a smartphone device, turn them on right now because it is definitely your best way to check out the looks and styling and color and to hear it run and check out all the options on this brand new 2021 Ram 1500 TRX. This is a level 2 TRX. Comes with the Mopar off-road running boards which are powder coated and it has 18 inch painted alloy rims on this one and Goodyear Wrangler Territory AT LT32565 R18 tires on here. Definitely an all terrain tread pattern to them. And this one has the performance, active performance shocks on it. So you can see there's all these bars and sensors and everything. So it will adjust your shocks to your current conditions as far as um, articulation and, and everything like that if you're going downhill so very very cool you can see you get the painted front bumpers the front bumper parking sensors this one has the LED headlamps the LED running lights the LED fog lights it also has the LED lights in the hood on the hood scoop there you also get the LED lights on the uh, corners here this vehicle is this truck is eight inches wider than uh, normal Ram just with all the off-roading capabilities and everything, they made it a bit wider with all those fender flares and everything too. Here's the original window sticker. Um, well, it's a copy of the original window sticker, but feel free to pause this at any point to take a look at all the standard features. I'm not gonna go through everything. It does have those uh, high-performance brakes, which 15-inch brakes in the front. 3.55 rear axle ratio, 33 gallon fuel tank, has the front and rear active performance shock absorbers. Granite Crystal is a color, 200 bucks. Technology Group, which gives you heads up display, rear view auto dimming digital display mirror, which we'll show, go over in just a minute. LED center high mounted stop lamp and the uh, advanced safety group, which is pedestrian emergency braking, adaptive cruise control and lane keep is 995. The bed utility group, which is 845. Lower two-tone paint is $250, and then the TRX Level 2 group is a $7,920 option. Basically, it gives you the cooled seats, um, the cooled seats in the back, the heated seats in the front, the upgraded floor console, uh, the premium wrapped instrument panel, the LED ambient light piping, front and rear door accent lighting, driver's seat memory, um, the power driver's seat, power passenger seat, the trailer brake controller, the pedals, uh, blind spot cross path detection, those heated seats and heated steering wheel, uh, the front and rear parking sensors, the LED bed lighting, the uh, rear under seat storage compartment, remote proximity, keyless entry, remote start, and the power release tailgate as well as the 60-40 split seating in the back with the recline. This one also has the dual pane panoramic sunroof for $14.95 and the off-road style running boards which I just showed you are $11.95. Total MSRP is $85,685, and um, three-year 36 bumper-to-bumper -bumper warranty, five-year 60 powertrain, 14 highway, 10 city, 12 average. And it does not have any ratings for safety. But we're gonna get to that interior in just a second. You can see it has a 12-inch screen there. Um, really a cool system. It has all the different terrain settings as well. Those are those off-road Mopar step bars. If you get up close, you can see they're powder-coated, but it's a, it's a really hard material on there. 
so that they don't chip and stuff in sandy environments. Of course, four wheel disc brakes, but check out these rear shocks. These are Blackhawk E2. If you uh, just Google that and check out the page on these shocks, it's just amazing all the different things that goes into these um, active performance shocks. You can see down there, it's all, it's all riveted. That's to create extra surface area for heat dissipation. Um, so really a lot of cool stuff and you can see once again you have all these sensors and levers and everything and that's to tell these shocks exactly what's going on with the truck so that it can adjust the shocks properly. And those springs are just massive on this truck. Um, they look really thick, they're really a big spring wide. Um, so that's pretty cool and everything is really beefy underneath in the suspension from the axles to the springs to the uh, crossbar there everything's really beefy and then you get all the skid plates under the transfer case and everything up there just a really off-road capable vehicle you get the lights on the back here as well the LED tail lamps, the painted rear bumper, those exhaust tips are huge on here. That was one of the first things I noticed in addition to those wide fender flares. Um, really gives the truck a good look to it. So this one does have the power drop down tailgate. Spray and bed liner, bed utility group with those uh, tie downs and cleats and everything, the LED bed lighting. You can turn those on with the button back here has the cargo LED lights up top and that's where your uh, reverse camera in that rear view mirror is and we'll check that out in just a second. This one has the step as well so push that down and it'll uh, come down like so. And I'm not sure exactly how to get that back up but we'll let it down for now. The other thing I like that they did on the TRX because of these wide fender flares is they kind of had to adapt the fuel fill door. I think it looks really good, um, but you get the capless fuel fill there. Has the enter and go system, so you just have to have your uh, key in your pocket, put your hand in the door, and you'll see that that door will automatically unlock. Pretty cool system. Has the heated power fold in mirrors with the blind spot monitoring blind spot mirror, directional signals in the mirror. Inside the TRX2 package gives you the black and gray leather seats. You get suede inserts on there, the TRX stitched into the backrest, and really a good looking seat combination. Lumbar, power seats, um, factory all-weather floor mats. This one has auto headlamps power pedals, tilt, telescopic steering wheel, power windows, power locks, power mirrors, and these mirrors do power fold in as well. You get the suede inserts on the door, the uh, diamond plated looking trim right there, and we'll hop inside. You get the seven inch LCD display on this truck. You get the cool TRX animation to begin. Uh, you get digital speedometer, compass, outside temp display, um, lane departure, uh, adaptive cruise, all that good stuff. Information is there, your battery voltage, oil temp, and everything there. This one has the flat bottom steering wheel. You get that diamond plate finish. It's also suede and leather wrapped on here. The steering wheel's heated as well. On the right are your cruise controls, adaptive cruise controls, uh, Bluetooth and information center controls on the left, and then you have your paddle shifters right there. There's also audio controls on the back of the steering wheel, so a very um, high-functioning steering wheel. So there's a lot of buttons and stuff on there to go over. Uh, before we get to the radio, I want to go to the modes system. So if you press this, it'll change. i got to have the ignition on. All right, 
so we gotta get that off there. Now if you do the different modes, you can see you got custom, mud sand, rock, Baja, So mud sand, rock, does not want to go into Baja. But uh, anyways, you get all those different modes that you can go into. I want you to go into four-wheel drive low for that. But you have your uh, push button four-wheel drive here, as well as an axle lock. And then you have launch control, which is pretty cool on a truck, but you'd expect it on this truck. Uh, has the Alpine sound system, the 12-inch Uconnect 4C radio, um, AM, FM, Sirius XM radio capabilities. You have your factory navigation system here. You have your different climate controls for your heated seats, cooled seats, heated steering wheel. You have your surround view camera, uh, which is a nice system to have. You can check out all the different cameras there. And then you can also check your backup camera. And then you have your forward camera, um, heated, cooled seat buttons. And then you can also do um, Android Auto, Apple CarPlay, where you project your cell phone to the screen with this radio. We actually did a demo on the 8.4 if you want to check that out. It's in the upper right-hand part of the screen. Factory brake controller, you have your uh, crawl assist, I guess you could say, or crawl speed set assist. Stability control, your front and rear parking sensors. You get six upfitter switches, two USBs, two USB-Cs, and an AUX jack. So the other thing I like is that they have the mechanical shifter here on the truck. It's a really um, a nice addition, I think. And they probably did that because they had to do all this stuff here, and that's normally where that knob is. But um, they put the mechanical shifter here. I really like it. The one thing it does take away is you don't have your 115-volt, uh, 400-watt uh, plug-in down here anymore because this is fixed. It doesn't slide like the other Rams. Um, has the Ram charger on there as well. And then... You get the TRX badge on the suede and leather wrapped center console. And you can see 702 horsepower, gives you the VIN number, gives you the turbo, or the, I'm sorry, the supercharger on here, the 11 PSI uh, boost rating. So just something else to let you know that this truck's fast. And we're going to get to uh, the engine here in just a little bit and start it up and give it a good rev for you. It has the panoramic Vista roof, um, fixed glass second, and power front. You get home link buttons. Everything appears just like any normal RAM. And uh, then you have your reverse camera right there. So it's actually a camera looking at back. You can change this to a normal mirror like that, um, just like that. And you can adjust the height of the camera and everything in the darkness. So that's pretty cool. And then you also have the heads up display which is right there. You got your digital speedometer and your different stuff like that. I wanted to go over one more thing on the uh, center console here. You have these performance pages, which are just like, uh, they're very similar to the SRT8 pages on the um, SRT8s, uh, the cars. So you have zero to 60, zero to 100. You can do timers. You have your uh, drag times right there, your braking distance, um, G-forces, you have histories of G-force, and then uh, you have lap times, and you can set those, and then a top speed right there as well. So pretty cool stuff, and then your off-road mode with our wheel articulation, drivetrain, and your pitch and roll. So all, you basically get the best of both worlds from the off-road pages to the SRT pages, um, all in the center console now or the center instrument cluster, I should say. So pretty cool stuff, a uh, lot of stuff to go over, but the main thing about this truck is all about the engine and the horsepower and all that. So we're gonna get it started here in just a second. I do wanna show you the back seats. These back seats are heated and cooled. You get the latch child safety system. You get all the same stitching and everything and uh, suede inserts. I recline that seat there so you can see just how much it reclines. So these back seats are heated and cooled on the outboard sides. And to get that back, just uh, push it back like so. You have the storage bin right here. You have in-floor storage on each side with removable containers for easy cleaning. You can put ice and drinks in there. It's like you have too many coolers wherever you go. Pretty cool stuff. Or you can just put whatever you want back there. Then you get your heated and cooled seat buttons, two USBs, two USB-Cs, and then a 115-volt, 400-watt plug-in. You get all these um, straps back here. 
This is real leather. Backing's real nice on the back of the seats. It's actually suede on the back of there. Um, these headrests do fold down, power slide and rear window with the built-in rear defrost, and you get those speakers in the ceiling with that Alpine sound system. Back doors are trimmed out just like the front doors and you get child safety locks, but this is what everybody wants to hear. Everybody wants to hear this truck run. Everybody wants to see what's under the hood, and uh, we'll do that right now. This thing sounds so aggressive when it starts up, and uh, just check it out. those LED lights and the fenders there. Seven hundred two horsepower, six hundred fifty foot pounds of torque. Just a monster. Those LED headlamps, they look really good. Get the LED lights in the hood there on the fenders. Really good looking truck. And then after about a minute it calms down and it's pretty unsuspecting. We'll take a look under the hood. Unfortunately there's not a ton to see because there's a there's a shroud over the engine so you can't see much but we'll take a look anyways. I do uh, like how they did the air intake. That's pretty cool. They have the Ram airflow right there from that center cowl on the hood. You get this big TRX cowl on there, and it hides your uh, Hellcat engine, but you still got those headers painted orange, and uh, really a really a cool truck. So we're getting pretty close on our time here. I will. Uh, Give it a couple reps here, and then we'll do a final walk around. So, listen up. Check out those taillights. And we'll do one more final walk around here. And I would personally like to thank you for checking out the video today and uh, hopefully from this HD video you got a good look at the TRX, uh, learned a little bit about it. I know in the prep for the video I, I learned a little bit about it too. And just uh, Ram really, really went all out on this truck to make it an off-roading machine and uh, I think they did a really good job. And how can you go wrong with the 6.2 supercharged Hemi in there? Anyways, uh, thanks for checking out the video. If you'd like to see more of our inventory, you can go to that website right there, www.summitauto.com. Remember to like, subscribe, and share on this video and all the videos that you see there. In fact, in a second, you'll see a link to subscribe to our YouTube channel on the left, a link to more Ram 1500 truck videos like this one on your right. If you haven't been to our website, click the link below to get to our website. Thanks again for checking out the video, and uh, we look forward to selling these 2021 Ram 1500 TRX packages. Thanks again for checking out the video.